What is going on guys? This is Ben here. So we have some crazy news for today's video. We have something that has never happened since this game has been alive. The first time in Clash Royale history, if you will. And no, it is not these new skeletons being released here. If you want to check a full video, check out the previous video. It'll be in the description. But the big news that's coming out here is we, the players, are the ones going to be deciding what is going to be, or at least one of these, what is going to be coming in the next balance change. So if you guys did not know, the next balance change is going to be confirmed for October 1st. There's going to be seven balance change cards, but we will get to be choosing the eighth balance change card. So Rumham, so Rumham, he's the guy that handles the Clash Royale balance changes. He's on the dev team. Tweeted this. We have seven balance changes locked in for October and are looking for an eighth. The game is in a good state. So we are going to let you, the community, vote on the 8th change. Roughly 24 hours from now, we'll post a poll of 4 changes. And whatever you vote on, will go in on October 1st. So that's pretty big news. Like, us the players are going to be deciding what we want for the balance change. So that's pretty big news. That has never happened to us before. Uh, like, the, they're directly giving the community a vote to what is going to be changing the next balance change update so that's really cool so it's really gonna do, it's really gonna be interesting to see how this poll goes because they're gonna be releasing four of them and so it's down here so i'm posting the four options it'll only be stuff we have considered all buffs to weak cards but that is still incredibly cool uh, and we don't know what the four options are just yet we'll know in roughly 24 hours it'll probably be having a in-game message over here to vote so i definitely encourage you guys to pick the balance change I assume they're going to give you entirely what the change would be, uh, what, what's going to be the buff for the nerf. So I hope it's like something crazy where, okay, actually, no, I don't. I do not want it to be Elite Barbarians or the Royal Giant on there. Uh, actually, I kind of do though. Like I kind of want them to be on there just to see how the community reacts. Like, oh, buff the Elite Barbarians, and then it'll be like, because it's so split because like a lot of the community loves about Elite Barbarians or Royal Giant and then the other half just hates it. It's like so, it's so polarizing. It's so cool. So I'd love to see that maybe in the option, but I don't want it because I know if, 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 if it got an option where it actually came through and that was the balance change for the eighth card, there'd be so much uproar. So we'll have to wait and see, but do you guys like that? I'm actually very excited that Clash Royale is finally coming out and like giving us an option directly for how we want things to be changed. And that's the first time that has ever happened. So definitely like if you guys are excited for that. What, what four cards do you think are gonna be on there? It's hard to tell because they already have seven locked in. So this is right off the top of my head. We'll go over like the 10, I think, potential cards that could be changed. So Barbarian Barrel, yes. I would say any of these, nah. Bomber, yes, could get a buff. The Heal, not used at all. I guess that could get a buff. So that's three. Skeleton Army, very, I don't know. It's not very good right now. Uh, I don't think it's, it's, it's not the greatest card. It's too easily destroyed. So that's four. Uh, I think the Ice Wizards, so that's five. The Valkyrie is that other one. That's six. I I think the Hog Rider is a little too strong, so that would be my seventh. Uh, Cannon sucks, so that would be eight. Uh, other than that, I mean, Lava Hound it would be nine, and the Goblin Giant would be another one. So I'm pretty happy with how the state of the game is right now. I guess the Royal Recruits are on there too, so that's like 11. But they, hey, it is asking for 11, so because like seven plus four are the four optional changes. So those are like the 11 that I think could maybe need to change, but the four that I listed, I think, have a high shot. So now we're gonna do our war attacks here. Uh, let me know if you guys are excited. This is my war deck I'm going in with. Are you happy that they're actually involving us with the decision? It's gonna, I, I'm just very curious to see the, the options and how the community is gonna vote. I, I cannot, I'm really excited. So we'll get that within like 24 hours. Plus we have the triple elixir challenge coming out tomorrow. So I'll be covering that. So a lot of cool news. So the battle I'm rocking, sadly our war, we didn't get any like poison fireball zap. And those are the best spells that you can have. And we only get, so the best spell that we had was arrows, and I think the other one was like a rocket. Not good. So I, I decided to like a defensive, like pack a battle deck with like bait the arrows, bait the log style here. So go with the hog rider. He dealt, we got his log out. That's kind of cool. Level 12 hog, gonna hopefully get some hits in there. Not bad. The Valkyrie, what else does he have with his battle deck? Is it a hog rider? So I guess we'll call, this will, this will cause for a P.E.K.K.A. And I'm gonna cough here, I'm sorry. <coughs> Still getting over my cold. Or whatever it is, I don't know. But I'll go in with the barrel this time. 
Put on some archers, and we'll drop a barrel. Please don't have, I don't think he cycled through the log just yet. He did not, so there we go. Sadly, my arrows missed some of the bats. It would've been much better if we were able to hit it. But so far, not a whole lot of issues with, with, with like what this guy is dropping at us. And I know when I was talking about it earlier about the hog rider, how I think he needs a change. It's just me because like, I've, I feel like he's played so much. And I don't know, I just think it would be cool to see a different card in the meta, even though that's probably not going to happen. That's why he's on the edge. We're going up against a prince here. Get the log out of him. Well, do I'll, I'll eat the prince shot for now, I guess. Archers take care of the miner. I, I'm not really worried about this guy's push at all. So I'll be able to go in with my hog rider. I'll throw a trick goblin barrel because I know he's probably going to be pressing. Arrows come out. Sadly, the hog only got one hit in there. Dang. But the peck is still alive. Very healthy. Same with those archers. Whew. Taking care of those bats as well. Well, he just invested a ton of elixir on that. So I'll throw an aggressive bandit down just to prompt a drop out of him. We got the Valkyrie and the Prince. We'll throw the gang over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Couldn't contain that cough any longer. At least it wasn't a sneeze. Otherwise, I'd have like just sneezed all over my entire iPad. That would have been bad. So get the arrows out. I believe this is going to be the winning push here. There we go. So we're making it work. I think we're a long shot to be second place because the person, the team in second place, I think has like four attacks still, and they have three, three wins over us. So yeah, we're in third. We're just trying not to lose a whole lot of trophies at the moment. Yeah. We only have two attacks left. Oof. I have some upgrades to do on this, so I have to upgrade the hog. I have enough gold, so why not? And I have the barrel to upgrade, right? Yeah, so give this to level 12. So there we go. Got the barrel upgraded. Oh, uh, let's see. What emotes do I have on this one? I don't have a whole lot of emotes on the second account. I could purchase a special offer for a buck. No, I could purchase the skeleton ones, but I'm going to say, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that for now. I like purchasing the emotes on my main account, so we'll try and get in here. Can we go 2-0 on the clan wars again? Basically just trying to secure our second place. Ooh! We're going up against a level 11. That means he's actually a level 11 in-game. This is very aggressive push. Normally I'm not this aggressive. But we'll see what happens. So he does have a log. Hog is still going to get there, so he knows my main push. But we got some nice damage right off the start. Wow. We'll take it. So we log Mega Minion. That's all we know so far. And some Fire Spirit. I don't know. I can't I can't think to guess what this battle deck will be just after a couple cards. I'll just have to wait. The P.E.K.K.A. is like the ultimate defender, so that's why you... Typically, I was just, I was just hating on the Skeleton. The Skeleton Army before. Getting some work done on me right there. But yeah, the, basically the P.E.K.K.A. is your ultimate defender that you don't want to drop usually. Unless you, like I didn't have a, a way to stop that wizard. So that's why the P.E.K.K.A. came out there. And I'll throw a trick goblin barrel. See if we can get that log maybe. Ooh, he's got a Mega Knight. He still missed one of our goblins. Even with that trick goblin barrel. So that was really, really awesome there. Uh, we have the level advantage on him. That's kind of unfortunate for a war. Typically it's pretty even. So, I, I guess I could try and maybe go for some crowns here. We know he doesn't have... He has fire spirits, though. So this could be bad. Well, that push didn't go as well as I wanted it to. <coughs> at all. Okay, but I was discussing about how with the P.E.K.K.A., normally you don't want to, like, start a push with it or be aggressive with it. Unless you like have to, like you usually don't want to drop him or her. I think it's a her, right? Usually don't want to drop the Pekka. I don't know. Yeah, until you have to, like for defense wise. Or unless you're just chilling on so much elixir and you're in a good spot, you might as well throw it in the back. But for now, I know he has that Mega Knight. And my main counter, I the only really counter I have to it is the Pekka. So I can't throw it down until I see that Mega Knight drop, like right there. 
So boom, pack it right up so it doesn't get that little dash damage or jump damage. <clears throat> Skeleton army, man. So actually, I could draw. I could throw it on the Electro Wizard, but I'll wait till the Wizard crosses here. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just do this. Distract with our Hog Rider there. The Wizard's like killing my battle. Like, it's a tough card for me to deal with. It really is. All right, the Bandit going in. Have the counter for the, the Mega Knight. Guess we'll throw it on the the Goblin Barrel with the Bandit. Why not? I mean, he has a log. It's cool. Bandit still got to the tower. Sadly, we weren't able to clutch up and get a second crown. We had the big advantage there, so we went 2-0 in the war, though. We'll take it. Good game. Give us our good bounty for the war, for the war chest. And we are one away from second and first. But, like, I, I think that the top has 44, yeah. So if we won our last attack, we'd be tied for second, but creepy... He has still a bunch of attacks left for so I don't know we'll see how this one pay, uh, pans out still three hours left but really really cool I'm so excited that we are going to be able to choose the first time ever choose what is going to be changed for a card I know they listen to like feedback from us from time to time or the community but directly choosing out of four choices which card is going to be nerfed it's going to be really interesting to see how the community votes so let me know if you guys are excited for that let me know what you think of the four cards are going to be on that option or just in general what cards you think are going to be buffed and nerfed but thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys later